<laughs> anyway, got lots of updates here in the news, don't we? That's right. So let's start with the market update, right? Like everyone yeah. has seen, Bitcoin yeah, yes. had a major drop compared to uh, what we got used to lately. Uh, yeah. Dropped down to 53K. Yeah. We we talked about it, right? We talked about uh, Mongox um, going to start refounding people. So those things started to happen. So maybe we can start with that. Well, actually, we talked about this be even before that, like months ago, like when we started this podcast, this podcast, we talked about or these updates. We actually talked about sideways moving, moving and pretty big dips. Um, I'm not yeah. saying we predicted this particular dip, uh, but, you know, it, we we absolutely maintain that, uh, you know, it's not all up from here from the having uh, and that we can, you know, that it's not abnormal that there's a big dip. And in fact, I just saw a post about like how we're exactly matching, I think it was 2017, they said. Like there's a big dip before it skyrocketed. Um, That's true. We said that yeah. because of the happening was occurring. Plus all exactly. these, other, yeah. these other like earthquakes that were coming. I mean, yeah. it, this was inevitable, I think. Yeah. So I don't, I mean, I, I don't love it. <laughs> you know, there's a little bit of bile at the top of my throat when that was happening, of, of course. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, um, I, I think it's in line. It's not out of line. If we dropped to like 30, that would be, that would be out of line, even maybe even 40. That would be out, yeah. outside the yeah. range of what, of, of what we've seen before. But this drop, I, I think it's matching 2017. I think it is. Uh, I have to go check that. But that's that's what I saw some I saw some people mapping it on top of each other, and that there's a big you know it's not weird that there's a big drop before there's a big uh, push. However, you know here we have causes of I mean pretty obvious causes of the drop. Um, yeah. And as we said earlier, the fact that there's ETFs now uh, can accentuate the drops because you got a lot of new people playing, and they all have you know. 10% stop orders on there or whatever. So once it drops, it drops more. Um, so that's, that's another different thing. That's right. Yeah, the market so, is changing, right? Just yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Yep. If we were getting to 48, 49 quickly and then back up, I, I wouldn't be that surprised, but I think we were expecting uh, moves like that. Right. Um, we started to talk about that. I think already two months ago, that mm -hmm. people were excited about Bitcoin ETFs and then Ethereum ETFs. And they thought that it was the time where Bitcoin was going to 100,000. And looking at the previous cycles chart, it was, it was not looking like that, that was going to happen like that. It looked like we were definitely waiting for a correction. Yeah.